Welcome to Behavioral Operations. In this first part of the lecture, we want to understand what behavioral operations is. We will start by looking at modeling in behavioral operations. Operations is about optimizing the production process. Traditional models consider the central planner optimizing operations. This was very much an engineer's perspective. An engineer thinking about the production process, how can I improve the performance of the machines involved? How can I have an optimal queuing behavior? How is the optimal order of production? What is the optimal lot size and so on? These are all very important questions and we have um, can, can have complex models complex analytical models that help us to define the optimal parameters. Later models in operations, they took into account that the production process, that there are not only machines involved, but also humans involved. And unlike machines, humans, they react to incentives, but you can't just say a human what to do. Humans take their own decisions. This means later models also investigate coordination, competition, and cooperation, taking into account the incentives of firms and individual decision makers. Taking into account the incentives and the interaction of different players means that we now have to use game theoretic models. However, the humans we considered in, in these models, they were very simple minded in the sense that they were very much like Scrooge McDuck. Scrooge McDuck only cares about increasing his monetary wealth. He doesn't care about others. He takes his decisions completely rational and so on. And this is where Behavioral operations departs from these models. Behavioral operations takes into account real human behavior. It's informed by the behavior we observe by real humans. That means those behavioral operations models, they incorporate biases. Biases are some kind of mistake when we evaluate certain situations. And Behavioral operations models also incorporate non-standard preferences or can incorporate non-standard preferences. Non-standard preferences might be social preferences, the fact that we, we care about others, that we feel good when we see that others are well off or that we feel envy, envy if we are worse off than others. Furthermore, non-standard preferences also uh, consider um, the evaluation of risk. So what we often see is that people who are confronted with a risky decision, they often do not behave as predicted by theory. In, in behavioral operations, we try to incorporate these behaviors into our models. 